Whoa, now it's your boy, the Toothless Wonder. Report live from the Bamboozle Again News Network. And today's topic will be about what I observe of the, the discord or the fractioning of the Chosen Ones community online. Granted, when you have any type of grassroots movement, you know, that's kind of new or whatever, there is the propensity for, you know, the bamboozler to come in and, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, the bamboozler to come in and, you know, attempt to, I guess, extract, you know, resources or whatever their personal agenda is, right? Typically, it has something to do with finance or hopping on a wave. But I'm, I'm greatly disturbed at, at, at brothers. Again, I'm looking at it from an observative standpoint. And let me preface it by saying this. Uh, one time I was, about 2010, I was in Greensboro, North Carolina, trying to tighten, trying to tighten up on my backstroke, right? <clears throat> so me and brother were behind the building. Cause it was an institution where you weren't supposed to smoke, right? So me and the, the brother, you know, behind the building smoking, right? While the staff were gone. And we were just, and I don't know how we got on this top, but we were discussing T.D. Jakes. And, uh, you know, I'm giving my articulations about what I think of him. So, you know, as far as him being a pastor and whoop de whoop de whoop And uh, my brother, he was from Houston. <clears throat> Good brother, right? And he was more aligned with the Christian community at that time. Uh, we, were, we had to go to church and all that, but I just wasn't really feeling it. When I noticed the, the discrepancy of how many women it was in the church in relation to the men and how, you know, this particular pastor that was in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. He was a great teacher, but in the last 10 minutes of the sermon, he, he could he could shift it to money and now it's offering time. You know what I'm saying? Just what I've seen as far as ATMs in the church and they would have billboards saying, no change, please. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Whatever, right? But we had to go as this part of the program. But we were talking about T.D. Jakes and he said, uh, and he said something, and I, me being a truth seeker, um, if I hear the truth, it, it will stop me in my tracks. So he said, Kyle, man, you got to understand, if you put any man under a strong enough microscope, you're bound to find some flaws. And I said, ah, you're right, my brother. So and so I said that to say this, right? In, in the so say chosen ones community online of uh, brothers who I uh, believe to be very well versed in the scriptures, not just as far as knowing it, but attempting to live it uh, to help me um you know, tighten up or, or improve in my spiritual disciplines and so on and so forth. I don't understand for those who so say are of this niche, um, who have been on YouTube for years and, you know, done various content about scriptural stuff, spiritual stuff, chosen quote unquote and who that actually really is. Amongst these group of brethren, I'm just finding, I'm, I'm very perplexed at the decorum in which they're dealing with each other um, in relation to what I perceive to be situations that don't have to go this far or don't warrant this type of exposure, quote unquote, of the next man. I'm going to try to leave people names out of it because I don't want clout chasing, you know, saying whatever, 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 right? Um, but in reference to the brother with the land initiative, um, you know, I've been coming across content of other people who have dealt with him personally. <clears throat> I'll go to say it, but you know what I mean? Rollo, uh, um, the Brainwaves guy, Ringo, says a few other people. And they're like basically saying he's about money and these are my situations with the man and whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. But I'm curious, before this falling out or, or arguing his talking points and how he sneaked this and so on and so forth, when he's been made, you know, subject matter about certain topics. Of, of conversation. I'm just curious to know, did these people ever feel like this before this happened? You know what I mean? I find it very timely, to say the least, that now y'all have all this to say about the man. You know what I'm saying? But when y'all was alright, y'all weren't arguing his talking points, or you didn't say anything about his personal character when y'all was alright. I personally think you know, like the get in story where they had to go to the water and he tested them and he like trimmed the ranks. I'm not saying this happening and I could be wrong. <clears throat> it's just somebody lying. And I don't know who it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just, it's just very 
unfortunate to see. You know what I'm saying? Like how none of this can be hammered out. Or they'll say how new breeders, you know, sneak this. And, uh, I, I keep I see the brainwaves guy, right? Saying how he sneak this. And, but I'm under the belief that uh, typically you only get trigger, triggered by stuff that actually applies to you. You know what I'm saying? So now he's insinuating that every video new breed makes is about him. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know if it, I don't know if he is or isn't. But I'm like, eh. but then at the same time, the brother brainwave does make some some points as far as his receipts of. I seen a video in which uh, he had another sister named So, I believe, who seemed to be genuine. You know, describing her <clears throat> um, experiences at the at the jamboree. I don't think she's you know. Um, has any other ill intentions or what I was just stating her perspective or her experience there or whatever and most of it was you know reference to new breed uh, it's just I don't know and then the brother brainwaves was making uh, that new breed's cousin had passed you know rest in peace and then he was making it seem like that was judgment for him sneak dissing yeah, god damn that's a, I, I think that's a reach my brother like for sneak doesn't I know you know the most high judges but and I know he probably holds those in leadership to a higher caliber but I'm like god I'm like god damn cuz like damn you went there with it like ah you know what I mean and then I find it odd how you know the brainwaves guy and, and, and Ringo had an issue but now it seems like they don't have an issue because now they have a common quote unquote enemy so they were able to not you know they were able to squash their issues, not because two, you know, level-headed men came back together, hashed it out, and moved forward. The catalyst for such seems to be they have a common enemy. You know what I mean? Like, uh. Then the, the, I never really got into the Rollo guy, uh, but I did get into him somewhat because of New Breed, and I thought he was kind of banished into YouTube purgatory. But now, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, you know, Rollo got all these receipts and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? I'm like, eh. You know what I mean? I'm like, eh. But from my understanding, and now I think, I'm not for sure about Rollo and Ringo, but I know they had the incident when they first went to North Carolina in which uh, Ringo, I mean, uh, Rollo had, was in contact with somebody else who wasn't supposed to be there and set up this chance encounter meet. You know what I'm saying? But then... Ringo and, and Newbury were able to move past that and annexed Rollo, but now they're all, I think, I'm thinking they're all back together as far as YouTube or going against Newbury. I'm just like, I just, you know, I, I just don't like, and, but here's what it is though to me, right? In, in the greater scheme of things, for those of us who are on the outside looking in, It'll like if these are proverbial, so say, you know, scriptural brothers who have helped, you know, I would like to believe millions of people, you know, as far as their content on YouTube, if they can't get along, it kind of stifles or it kind of sets this kind of whatever as far as, you know, those of us such as myself who are on the outside looking in being more apprehensive of dealing with other quote unquote chosen people. Because who else are you going to deal with? You can't really deal with the people of the world. So if, if you're like me, who's attempting to get various skills to be of service, you know, to others or other chosen ones, that's how I'm looking at it. It kind of puts this bad taste in your mouth because this is how we're dealing or this is how the quote unquote leadership deals with each other. You know what I mean? And then I, I'm kind of, eh, because, okay, let's say me and a brother beefing, right? I might have a personal issue with him, whatever it be, whether it's valid or not. But I ain't going to try to stop what the man doing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might say whatever about him personally or to him. But I, but to me, the way they're going about it, it seems like they're subtly trying to disrupt whatever's being done on the land. You know what I'm saying? Or, or making these arguments about how it's not actually genuine the way Newbreed says it is. Now, granted... And being fair and balanced, I'm trying to, you know, if you're like every, especially with us, you know, color folk, you know, we're not used to, you know, or, or coming together, especially on a monumentous type of project. So I would personally expect certain things to like go awry or not be as fluid as they, as you might think they should be. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work with that. You know what I mean? For the most part. You know what I'm saying? And pray I'm not getting duped, of course, or bamboozled, but, you know, the brother Brainwave was basically saying how people would have got or requested their money back had he not stepped up and do, 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 do. Um, that may be true, you know. Uh, let's say if I was personally there, you know, people are quick to say what they would do if, if they were there. But you never really know until you're in it. But again, because of my, my mentality and outlook, like if I see like something needs to be done, I'm going to ask permission first. But I'm going to lend a helping hand because I'm, I'm grateful to be around the brethren and the sisters. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really there. Like the leisure part of just getting away. Yeah, but I'm there to like make sure everybody good. I'm just that type of person. And it wouldn't have been burdensome to me. And it wouldn't have been something that later on, let's say me and you have an issue, then I talk about it would have fell apart if it wasn't for me. It just makes me wonder people's, again, how I keep talking about people's true motives and intentions for doing stuff. If me and you have an issue and then I throw back in your face everything I did for you. <clears throat> but at the same time, you know, it does look alarming for, you know, the mark, the messengers of the world and these other people who have <clears throat> had whatever to say about new breed and him being about money. You know what I mean? I, I honestly, and of course, you know, I've started to bamboozle again news network, so I don't want to be bamboozled. However, I just can't bring myself to truly believe that the man is operating the way they say he is. I'm trying, I'm finding it very hard. And they, they come with some compelling arguments, no diggity, no doubt. But I just can't go all the way there with it. Like I said, ain't nobody perfect. But I, I truly believe, and, and, and like myself, I don't necessarily... I try to do everything the right way, quote unquote. Uh, I'm bound to make mistakes or, you know, slights on, you know, just, you know, you're doing something new. So you're going to make mistakes or not, you know, dot every I and cross every T. But my my thing that, that doesn't push me way over to what they're saying uh, edge is I truly believe a man to be genuine. Perfect. No. Genuine. Yes. And that's what I'm I just want to be around some genuine people. Like you are just who you say you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't have any ulterior motive. And that's the part that, that kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Because if what you, you know the other faction is saying is true, why is it now just coming out? Why didn't y'all been arguing man talking points? Why hadn't y'all been exposing whatever y'all say about how he deal with people? Did y'all not do that because it wasn't beneficial to do that at the time? You see what I'm saying? Like I just don't know. And again... <clears throat> From those of us who are on the outside looking in, it creates this 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 environment to keep us further separated. If those who we kind of quote unquote, for lack of a better term, look up to, this is what they're doing, or this is how they deal with issues and problems, or per proverbial or perceived slights. You see what I'm saying? Of those who are well versed in the script in the scriptures, uh, more so than let's say the average person who may just be coming out of the matrix per se, or you know, anything along those lines. And I think whatever the adversary is doing, because I know he's very crafty and subtle, is to disrupt the coming or the gathering together of those who, I guess, y'all would call to come together and, and gather. You know what I'm saying? Just like when we were in the uh, in the wilderness, let's say, after after bondage. You know what I mean? Um, there was a lot of murmuring and complaining and, and the questioning of leadership and you know what I mean? Is this is this life cycle repeating itself? You know what I'm saying? Um, and then by the same token, you know, uh, I don't wanna bring him in because <clears throat> I believe he's getting married, congratulations. I don't believe you with his eyes like that. I just don't pick that up off the marriage spirit at all. And he's been the one person, I don't know if it's because he's getting married. But even if that wasn't the case, he don't... Now, granted, any man can get off his post, but I think it's commendable that that he stayed out of this. Not out of, you know, uh, fear or, you know, lack of courage or anything like that. Because I'm of the understanding he's actually working on building. I ain't got time to bring this stuff up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure from what I understand or perceive of the man online... I would like to believe maybe he's attempted to mediate or things of that nature. Because a lot of times, if you're in community building, that's what you're going to have to do. 
because we're not used to working together or answering this, you know, for lack of a better term, answering to another black man. And, you know, I said that in another video about, you know, how hard it is to be in leadership as a black man when you're dealing with other black people, you know. And, of course, you know, things could be done better, I'm assuming, but at the same, just like when we were, in, you know, in the wilderness. I'm pretty sure everybody had their opinions about what Moses was doing. You know what I mean? Uh, but we see what happened to them. I'm just using that as a knowledge. I'm not saying that's what's going on here. But it just, it's just disheartening to see. You know what I'm saying? Especially for those of us who are so, say, quote unquote, chosen or have certain uh, traits that would that would deem us so. Um, Elder, you with us? I had a uh, on the Congregation of the Mighty channel had a great uh, 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 it was about two hours video of uh, being a black sheep, and that joint, everything he said, man, was just pinpoint accurate. You know what I mean? So let so if you you know go check out check out that video, uh, like with me, okay, like <clears throat> I can walk this <clears throat> kind of solo path, but solo in the future ain't gonna get it at some point not even with the land initiative but just maybe with you know those that you do fool with or family that's conducive or whatever you're gonna have to come together everybody else can do it but we can't but i understand you know spiritually and scripturally as to why that's harder for us but at the same time it is still a necessity the moving forward you know personal issues that come up are gonna have to be amicably you know, dealt with for the greater goal and mission. Now I see why humility is, is is very key in all this. Like I said, like, okay, me and, let's say me and Newbury have an issue, right? And let's say I hop online and say whatever my issue is and pertaining to the brother. I would be very, now of course I would go to him first, but I would be very conscious to word it in a way, which would probably be walking a tightrope, I'd be very conscious to word it in the way in which I address the issue while at the same time not um, attempting to discredit what's being done on the land, if, if, if that's even possible. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, yeah, me and him have an issue, but I'm not going to word it in a way where it would discourage others from attempting to um, be a part of a gathering or, or having land and not having to pay rent and do all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless y'all feel like, and I'm talking about the Ringos and the brainways and the Riles of the world, unless you feel like he's actually attempting to bamboozle the people. But I don't think so. I, I just can't. See, you see, when I said that, I kind of hurry up and reverse track. Like, I just don't believe that. And again, I could be wrong, but, and again, you know, if you're doing something you've never done, you're going to make mistakes and things may not go as planned or things may come up that you can't perceive because you haven't really done it like that before. But it just seems like so many people <clears throat> are wishing for this to fail. Like I might have an issue with you, right? Or say I had it like just for, you know, just to make an argument. I might have an issue with new breed, right? I might not even like the man. But I don't want to see what he's doing fail. You know what I'm saying? Me and him just got an issue. Or like in just regular life, me, I'm cool with a brother and then we have a falling out. Okay, we ain't speaking or I don't like him. Or I might even want to put hands on him. But I don't want to see him lose his job, though. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to see nothing happen to him. You know what I mean? We're just not talking. Just like uh, on life when Claude and Ray weren't talking. You know what I'm saying? And then boss man handed uh, Eddie Murphy character the shotgun. I said, man, if you shoot him, uh, man, I'll walk you right through the gate myself. He, said, he, he ain't even had to think about it. Man, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Come, I'll shoot you with it. Wrong answer, boy. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking. But I don't want to hurt the man or what he's doing or how what he's doing would affect others. I'm just not with it. You know what I'm saying? Even with my exposures <clears throat> of, let's say, the treatment field, you know what I'm saying? I, got, I don't really have a personal issue with them. They ain't did nothing to me. Uh, I called them out for how I see how they treated and dealt with other people and I took up the cause you see what I'm saying but I wouldn't stop nobody from going into treatment I would just explain what's going on in it 
so you know how to navigate it. You see what I'm saying? I don't be on here like I've had my various treatment experiences <clears throat> with them, you know, institutions or whatever. But I wouldn't tell nobody who's in the grips of addiction not to go get help. You see what I'm saying? Just understand here's what's probably going to happen. So when you see it, just don't, you know, da da da. And you'll be able to get through it and, 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 you know, get back to trying to build your life. And, you know what I'm saying? But don't expect these people to actually, like, care. Just take what they say and apply it to you. But just don't get wrapped up in, you know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. But again, everybody don't operate like me. And I don't think they're supposed to. But I'm just coming from my perspective of what I see. You know what I mean? It's just unfortunate. And then they'll say, like, you know, all their videos about him. Well, Brainwave's brother. He'll say all New Breeze videos about him sneak dissing him, right? That's, I don't know, that's, that's possible, I guess. But at the same time, now all your videos are about him. Or all Ringo, I think he's kind of dialed it back a little bit. But now all his videos are, or were, about New Breeze. He had about down there 20,000 videos. I'm I'm embellishing. But, like, I've noticed something. And, and even, like, in my personal life with certain brothers I fool with on Facebook. Like, everyone's, like, doing a lot of projecting here. I've noticed that's become a bigger thing or or great or or more used tactic. Now, mind you, the people I've been fooling with on Facebook, like, we be joking. But I still take a mental note of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and I'm like, yo, I know what you're doing, joking, joking, you know, LOL. But I'm still taking a mental note of it, like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's just it's, it's it's real out here, baby. And this is how real it is because of the subtlety and the craftiness of the arguments people make. You know what I'm saying? That uh, I'm not saying this is the case in this particular case, but a lot of times people accuse you of the stuff they guilty of, and then so say got proof. But the proof they got really doesn't prove what they're saying. They just, like, you know how they say, and I'm not saying that's the case in this case, but you know how they say the devil's in the details? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, bro. It's just, it's, and it, either which way, it's unfortunate. Again, for, for those of us who, you know, really, you know, we might walk more of an isolated path, but because of the human aspect of our existence, we desire community. That's why, you know, during the 60s, 70s, they blew ours up through these different social programs and talking points. You know what I'm saying? So they seen it as a necessity to destroy. We should see it as a necessity to come together and work together and work with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I used to drink, right? I When I had my little PTSD stuff jumping off, and I seen stuff out of, you know, my so say homeboy, and every other day I was cussing them out. With the facts. But I did it in the wrong spirit. So then when I sober up, I just come back and apologize. But everything I said was true, though. But I still got love for you. You see what I'm saying? I still don't want to, like, yeah, me and you might not, but I, I don't want to see nothing, like, happen to you or if a, if a situation, I'm going to come to your defense. And then after that, so we back not talking. You know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, I don't know, bro. And that's that's all I got. I I just don't know. But I just it's just hard for me to believe that the man that the brother New Breed is is operating the way or that's his true intentions and motives. I I don't I just don't believe that. I just don't. And then I'll check myself. Was well, it because I'm slightly biased because I discovered him first, or he's been instrumental in helping me navigate you know certain situations? That might be true. And I can admit if I have a boss. But at the same time, I am very leery of being bamboozled by anybody. So let me hear this out. And and what I'm hearing and just how these other people who work together have now come together for, you know, how they say uh, the enemy of the of my enemy is my friend. It seemed like that. But again, it's hard to, you know, because these brothers, just like I guess that not saying they're the adversary, not saying they're by Elzebub, but I know he know the scripture and then just use it out of context. You know what I'm saying? That's why now I've gotten into a greater degree of studying the word myself. You know what I'm saying? Which is something I have been slagging on. Because it is kind of, quote unquote, easier if you believe somebody to be true and just learn from them. But I guess we are to study to show ourselves approved.
Because anybody can buy, I can bamboozle. I don't want to, of course. I could do it unintentionally. You know what I'm saying? But that's definitely not my intent. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my thing. That's my that's that's the thing I'm big on. Motive and intention. Like let's say <clears throat> hypothetically, I get into it with or a particular situation happens, and I was wrong. But if I but if I perceive you didn't actually intend to do that, man, you good, bro. Man, what's happening? You ain't mean it wasn't like you thought this out and premeditated it. You know what I'm saying? You might have a flash of emotion, or you didn't see all the particulars and or, or miss something, and you know what I'm saying, or you know something to that effect. But if I don't perceive you did it maliciously or premeditated to do that, and you know what I'm saying, it was just a mo- like, man, man, you good, bro. You mean tell me I can't give you no grace? All the grace and mercy is standing on me. <clears throat> hey, can any of these, is it past that point? I don't know. I don't know all the particulars or the inside information. But can, can we give some forgiveness up in here, some grace? Even if I would do this, right? Let's say it was a real do do right? But again, I'm keeping the mission to the forefront. Even above my own feelings, ego, so on and so forth, right? Even if I didn't mean it, you know what? Hey, cuz, let's come together on one of these YouTube videos, show the people. That, now, we don't fool with each other. And we're not going to fool each other after this. But for the sake of the flock, let's come together and make it look good for them to encourage them. Damn us. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm just throwing stuff out there. But I'm ready to hit this gym, y'all. And on that note, man, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Woo!